Okay, folks, we are back in the world where we have a player counter, and when the player counter reaches two, it causes a second spawner to be active. Now, the same principle can also be used to create different rounds that can have harder difficulties as well. So if I go into my island to get to the creative tab and go to devices, then there is a round settings device. And I'm going to go ahead and place one of those devices here. So turn on drops. And I'm going to place a second one here. And so what I'm going to do is for this single player, I'm going to create something for round one, which would allow me to then send on a channel. And when we were looking at this last week, this one is already active, if I recall. Yep. And this one is only active when it's receiving on chapter ch <laughs> channel 11. So in my mind, for the, the first player, the first one is 11 and the second one will be 12, and then if we do a third one, it would be 13. So, if I was to actually copy this, move it over, and let's make this a brute, and change it to channel 13, and I don't really need to use that channel 11, but just for the sake of having a round counter here, I'm going to say on round start transmit on channel 11. And if there's any settings that are just for first player, that will eventually work. And then here, in this one, we're going to set this to round two. And we're going to say on round start transmit on 12. Now, if I wanted to, I could also copy this and place a third one here. And I could change this one, quite obviously, to be channel 13 on round three. Okay. So that means that on each round, it will get progressively harder. And we have to go to my island and go into the game settings and set the total number of rounds to three. And now when I start the game, okay, I move forward and I have the four coming at me. My rounds are pretty long. And I'm actually forgetting if I have the number of kills turned on. Let's end game and double check that. So this one is spawning 10. If I go to my island and game. AI enemy eliminations to end. Well, I could set this to 10. And then the first person to reach 10 is going to win. That's not a problem when there's only one player. When there's two players, it might get a little tricky. Let's make sure this is 10. Okay, and the other one's going to be 10 as well. Let's start game. This should be it. We should be able to get 10 down pretty quick and then move on to the next round and make sure that this works. Okay, 
round one is done. At this point in time, we should also change our scoreboard to reflect what we're actually doing in the game. But we'll go through these round tests first. Now, if you're doing a single player game, you don't even need those player counts. You could just go ahead and set up all of your your round information, assuming that you only have one player. Okay, that's 10. And so that worked uh, because I was getting red fiends and I was getting the regular fiends. And then this next level, I should be getting brutes as well. Great, so it is working. I'm getting brutes. I'm getting fiends. I'm getting red fiends. The brutes are definitely harder to kill, so getting 10 is going to take a little bit longer on this one. There we go. Okay, and that is a successful completion of all three rounds. So to close this out, I'm also going to go to my island and I'm going to take a look at the UI. And for the UI, if I scroll down, round win condition, AI eliminations, and we could also use use health as the backup, which would mean that the person with the most health at the end would win. And the other thing that we could do instead of AI eliminations, we could actually use score. There we go. And then we could use AI eliminations after that if we wanted to. Uh, it would probably never come to that. Score is based on the type of mob that you're killing. But then in our columns we could say score and then we could say ai eliminations and then i'll only do the first round to show this off Okay, that should be 10, and now the scoreboard should show up and have score and the number of enemies being killed. Uh, so fiends are obviously worth 22 points each, and I believe all of the other monsters are worth varying amounts. The brutes are obviously worth, oh, me, worth more than the fiends. But let's go ahead and stop here. End game. Um, so if that helps you get done what you want to get done fantastic i'll follow up with another tutorial about how you can have the same increasing difficulty set up for multiple players